welcome to the pin man and i just want to wish each and every one of you a happy new year and hopefully 2022 will be a whole lot better than 2021 uh, to start out this new year actually to finish up last year we had our christmas celebration and one of the gifts that i was blessed with for my family is a uh, T-shirt that my son special ordered for me, the Pin Man. All right, so we got the logo up front and turn around and we have the logo in the back. All right, so I can walk around town and let everybody know about the Pin Man. <laughs> All right, that's it. Let's get back to the business of fountain pens. Today, we are gonna start 2022 by looking at the Jinhao X450. This is a, a nice offering from Jinhao. It's pretty basic pen, but it, uh, I really like the, uh, the color. We'll look at it a little closer when we do the uh, tour of the pen, but uh, nice uh, maroon and black uh, coloring on my version of the X450. The Jinhao X450 retails for around $10, uh, at least on Goulet. Uh, and right now, as of the recording of this video, try to get it out sooner than later, they, they are uh, about 4, about 50% off. I think they're selling for $450 now. They have them on a, a, a decreased price there. Uh, you could probably pick them up cheaper though on eBay, but these are these are a nice nice pen metal metal body So if you like a pen with a little bit of weight, you'll like the x450 uh, I'll be using I have a medium nib on this pen. I, I really like it It seems like the Chinese pens typically the the tip sizes are typically in line with uh, a lot of the German uh, nibs, Yovo and uh, Bach and so forth. So rather than the uh, Japanese nib tip sizes, but uh, anyway, so with that said, we will transition now to some color samples or style samples of the pen, a tour of the pen, size comparisons and a writing sample. All right, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the other side. Okay, here is the Jinhao X450. It has a, it's a metal body, so it's uh, gonna be brass. <clears throat> it's gonna have a lacquered uh, finish to the, to the pen. And uh, I, I like it, the, the maroon and kind of the black and the gold swirls in, in there. Has the gold-plated band, the gold-plated clip, and two gold-plated rings at the cap and body finial. Again, this is lacquer. The, the finials are black lacquer. It's really nice. Okay, so let me... Let me get some close-ups on this uh, pin here. So you can see uh, a little better the lacquer type of uh, painting there. It's almost, uh, the black is almost like little black clouds <laughs> in there. I don't know if it's a good sign, but anyway. And then the, you have those uh, golden, almost looks like bubbles or marbling maybe. The band just says Jin Hao. Right there. The clip is a, is a nice, I, I would almost call this an art, art deco style. I mean, to me, it, it kind of seems like it. It's a very sturdy clip. It has a nice, it's very tight tension there, but with the, uh, the rounded end, to it, it will slip easily in your pocket or on a strap. So it's got the three uh, little bumps there. The again, the 
cap finial is just uh, rounded black. Then you have the body finial, same thing, only longer than the, uh, than the cap finial. Again, you have the, you know, the, the gold-plated uh, appointments on there. The 450 is a snap cap. It's, uh, it's a smooth uh, click there. It is tight, but it's not, can I do it one hand? Yeah, I can do it one handed. Okay, so it's not, it's not too, uh, too tight. I like it. Open it up and you have this, I'm gonna call it a faceted grip uh, versus what the X750, I'll do a, a, I'm gonna do a review of that in time, but it has uh, that textured uh, part of the facet there. And you, you can kind of see, as I turn around, you can, you can see where it's faceted. I mean, it, it's barely faceted, but it is technically faceted. This is a, you know, it's a, it's a comfortable, uh, comfortable grip on this pin. You, you hardly notice the facets. I, I was kind of wondering how much of a distraction that might be, but you hardly notice that. And as you can see, it is uh, plenty long enough, uncapped. Put it down here. You can see there, plenty long enough, but it does uh, post, and, but not so securely. You'd have to put it on. It does have a, you can see that plastic insert in there, but it really, I mean, I guess you squeeze it on there strong enough and it will go on. And with that being plastic, you shouldn't, it shouldn't affect the, it shouldn't scratch uh, your barrel at all. So it will post. And uh, I, I don't find it uh, unbalanced. So if you like to post, you should have no problem. There's your, there's your nib, and it just has the uh, Jinhao horse and rider, the chariot there, and Jinhao underneath it, and then it says 18 karat, or 18 K G P. So that's 18 karat gold plated. I uh, guess you gotta take their word for it. And then it has that unplated little uh, strip inside there. I, I, you know, I think it's a good looking nib. I don't have a, have a problem with that. All right, as you can see, I've got a little bit of uh, nib creep going on there. Open it up. Of course, this is a cartridge converter pin. And, you know, they send you a cartridge or they send you a converter. Uh, I, I, you know, I think that's good. I, quite frankly, I think all manufacturers ought to go ahead and send uh, send their customers even even if it's a uh, inexpensive version of their pens and people can buy a nicer one if they want but uh, and this is this even has a, you know it's a double uh, it's got a double uh, rib there type of um, seal uh, which I, you know, I th I think that's a I think that's a great idea. That just uh, shows that they don't mind putting a little bit extra for their customers. So that's good. And uh, the now the grip is a plastic uh, grip. So the threads here are plastic. Inside uh, the the body, there you have brass threads. So hopefully over time, if you take care of it, it's not gonna, it's not gonna mess that up. You know, brass on plastic, just take care of it, all right? Uh, it will take, this is a, of course, an international standard converter and it takes the cartridges as well. All right, I'm gonna clean off my nib a little bit and then we will have a writing sample. Well, the writing sample, we have the little hard start there.
Ooh, not good. Okay. Jin Hao X450. So medium. And the ink I'm using today is Monteverde. It's a sweet life series, sweet life series, and the color is pumpkin cake. Alrighty. Uh, now I've noticed this, and this may this may be the the ink uh, that's causing the hard start there because um, I noticed that there's some. Uh, I've picked it up once or twice after not using it uh, for three or four days, and there's some nib creep. Uh, the the ink again is this uh, Monteverde. Uh, Falcon. There we go. Uh, Monteverdi Sweet Life and the Pumpkin Cake. It is a highly saturated ink, uh, which I like saturated inks. But um, anyway, this, this particular one, I haven't noticed that on the other two Sweet Life uh, colors that I have. But boy, this one, this one really uh, likes to kind of cake up a little bit. So uh, I guess with the this color. I'm going to give it a meh. <laughs> okay, but this is not a review of the color. So the the nib is very smooth. I mean, it's just a hair of feedback. What it's kind of like, it's like I like it. So you know, some people like a little more feedback. Uh, I don't, but the uh, the ink, like I said, I mean this this pen ink flows very well. It's not a dry ink, and this is a I, I would I would call this a a wet nib. Here we go. I was trying to give you. Okay, then you got the little bit of the uh, feed there. You know, that's just that typical want to be a jo Yovo uh, type nib. Anyway, so you got that uh, reverse writing, very good. And I would say, I mean, this this pen has this tip is very smooth. I I haven't done any kind of work with it, uh, but it is very smooth. No hard starts or skips or anything. Once you get writing, uh, this does not happen. Uh, so. Once I clear that up, boy, it just it writes very well, and I can put it in a, uh, in my stand and so forth, and it doesn't doesn't mess up at all. The let's see, I don't, I don't know about um, you know, if you like the wouldn't say there's flex, but you can get some uh, shading out of that if you. Come around, bloop. It was kind of darker on the on the bottom there. I don't know if you can tell that, but uh, yeah, I I think this is uh, I I I like the way this pen writes. Okay, um, I have I have no complaints. the The weight of the pen is uh, very very comfortable in my hand. Uh, there is no qualms there. I like metal pins and so this is a perfect weight. Uh, I have a question for you so if you could put it down in the comments below. When, when it comes to pin weight and for, for those of you who do uh, long writing times whether it be journaling or your author, uh, whatever the case may be, student taking lots of notes, do you find a lightweight pin to be easier for longer writing sessions, or do you uh, like a heavier pen for those sessions? Uh, me personally, I found that 
a heavier pin works better for me. I'm not talking about excess weight, but I'm talking about, you know, your typical metal, metal pins. Um, you know, I, I just find, a, I just find it easier to write in that I don't have to hold it down as, as much when I, when I write simply because the weight brings it down. The weight keeps the nib on the paper. Like I, I'm barely, you know, I still having grown up with, with ballpoint pens, I, I still tend to uh, apply more pressure than I need. Uh, but this, you know, you just kind of drag it. I mean, that's, that's the way a nib should write, guys and gals. I mean, it's drying out there a little bit, I guess. But, I mean, it should write. It shouldn't take much to get it to write. Of course, if you like saturation but i just i just like the fact that i can take this thing and you know just just barely just barely write with it and it's it's nice i found that lightweight pens i tend to feel like i have to push down a little more to get on to get that weight down there to get the nib on the paper uh to get it started writing so that, that's why i prefer but how about you uh, do you do you find the lightweight pens uh, more comfortable, or in those long writing sessions, or or a little bit weightier pens? Okay, so what do I think about this Jinhao X450? Well, I guess I just have to say I like it for anywhere from five to ten dollars. Uh, I think I think it's a it's a great buy, and as you saw in the the color portion style portion of the video, uh, you know it, it just it's you got some good choices there uh, for for this pen. So I I like it. All right, so let's move on to some size comparisons. All right, here we have the Jinhao X450. You have the, let me line these up a little bit better there. You have the Lamy uh, Safari. You have the Pilot Custom 823. You have the Twisby uh, 580 all in rows. And then you have the Pilot Metropolitan. And here they are uncapped. And here they are posted. <laughs> I was just looking at this 580, uh, Chisby 580. I mean, that, that is insanely long posted. <laughs> I, I, I've done a review on this, but uh, that, that is just, I, that's crazy long. I, I don't know. That uh, just seems to be too long but um, yeah if you put them nib tip to nib tip I mean they're, they're still because this goes right to the edge there oh my goodness I mean that's yeah that's crazy long I don't, I don't know why anybody would want to write that with that posted but you know so be it uh, teach their own <laughs> there you have it the Jinhao X4 50. I hope you found this video helpful and uh, again I just uh, hope that the 2022 uh, is for you much better than 2021 has been. It's been a been a rough year. Uh, I still consider myself blessed uh, and I hope you can see yourself uh, that way as well. Uh, just uh, let's just bear with <laughs> all the kind of mess that's around us. Thankfully, I'm living in an area that's uh, not highly restricted in uh, our movements and so forth. Just a mask here or there, that's about it. But, um, and things are good. So anyway, but I, I hope uh, that you guys are gonna be doing well this next year. And I appreciate you tuning in. And again, I hope this has been helpful to you. Uh, write any kind of comments in the comment section below. And Till next time, you all have a great day.